Good morning guys, welcome to Sunday. It snowed a bit last night, it's really nice out today. It's nice to be the first one out in the morning when it first snows. Got the dogs with me and I want to show you today how well Penny is for me. Because um, when Laura and the girls let her out, she runs out for me. She walks right beside me until she goes out with the rest of the girls to eat her morning breakfast. So I want to show you that and let's hope it goes well. Because now that I'm going to show you, she's probably going to do the opposite. Morning, Penny. Morning. How are you doing this morning? How are you doing this morning, Pen? Morning, morning Gracie. You ready to go? You ready to go? And hi, Willow. Yes, I know. You need a smaller stall or something. All right, so some people asked why I let them out in the order that I do. I'll tell you why. Because Gracie is the bottom of the herd. So I let her go out first because if I don't, she'll be hanging around the barn and she'll just be hanging around with me. <laughs> so I let her out first. Come on, Grace. Let's go, Grace. You go first. And then I let Willow out because if Gracie stays in the barn, Willow will chase her out. Willow is like my muscle. Willow is my muscle. There you go, Willow. That's why I let those two out first. And then I um, always let the back stall here out last. I don't know why I do the last one. I don't know why Penny's always last. That's probably why she rushes out. Because she's the only one left. Hey, Penny. Let me get that off your hair. Come here, let me get that off your head. You got hay in your hair all of a sudden. Oh! And see, this is what happens. Gracie. Gracie, come on, get out there. Come on. Come on, Gracie. Come on. You're supposed to be out there now. Where's my muscle? Where's my muscle? Get out there. Willow, you're supposed to... You're supposed to... Whoa, I guess... <laughs> Greasy got spooked there. Everyone got spooked, even Penny out here. But anyways, that's why I let them out first and because I was too busy talking on the video and getting the hay out of Penny's hair. Come on, Pen. We're walking slow, remember? Okay, okay. Walking slow. Good girl. There, now you can go fast. Now you can go be with your friends. There you go. No, Gracie. Oh, see, here's the good example. Gracie always comes to me and likes to be in the barn. It's probably because when the girls used to clean the barn, they would let um, them out and let one wander in the barn. <laughs> That's probably why she likes to do that. But anyways, I tried it and he saw a good example why I let them out in order, but obviously didn't happen because Gracie showed up. Anyways, I'm going to clean the barn now and turn on the radio, clean the barn, and then head up and have breakfast. Good morning, guys. Welcome to a Sunday. Today is Sunday. Today is a day that we're going to have a shorter vlog. We're going to have a shorter vlog because Sam and I are going to be doing something super fun. But first, I, we have to tell you guys something. This is huge. Like, we have to tell you guys. This is a game changer. We have to tell you guys something really important. Sam, what did we decide? What did we decide about Daisy? Daisy is deaf. Daisy is not a hearing dog, is she? Nope, I have to stomp on the floor to get her attention, point to the ground, and then she'll come to me. Yeah. It's the only way. She doesn't, I can call her name, she won't do anything. Yeah. yeah. I've told you guys all along that Daisy is not as advanced as Molly and we know that different breeds are different and I keep trying to chalk it up to her being a different breed but it's not you guys the dog cannot hear like all of us agree she is almost six months old she doesn't know her name she, I, she doesn't know her name and we've never had a dog that doesn't know her name at six months old and also 
we have rehabilitated dogs for our local animal shelter. We have rehabilitated dangerous, aggressive dogs. We have rehabilitated shy dogs. Like we've done a lot, before we had the girls, our life was dogs. Like Sam and I did a lot of work. We, we did a lot of work for our shelters. We were like kinda getting there in the dog world. And we have been around a lot of dogs. Daisy does not fit any mold for any dog we've ever had. Like. She sometimes, she rarely responds to us, you guys. She rarely ever responds. I feel like maybe she could hear some things or maybe some tones, but the biggest thing that tips us off for Daisy is that if there is vibration, she startles. So every time Sophie gets mad, and we've done this instinctually, not even realizing that, we, that we're doing it, but when Daisy does something bad, that she's not supposed to do Sophie gets frustrated and she stomps to her and it's not that she's mad it's that she's learned that that's the only way that Daisy recognizes that she's in trouble so she stomps and as soon as Daisy hears the stomp she startles and sometimes like Ruby will come up behind her and she'll startle and then run and play like she she startles so often she often appears shocked that somebody appears before her and um, we've had really really good success with like hand signals we she learns like that like if we are using hand signals she like Toby taught her how to sit so soon in our daisy journey but but we've always put our hand up like this and now we can stand in front of her and say sit 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 and she just stands there like she doesn't even hear us <laughs> whenever we talk in a specific tone all of our dogs come running you guys have seen it a million times like they're always here every single one of them come running not daisy daisy doesn't know she doesn't understand she's never done that thank you for showing that example for me molly molly said i know i'll show them what i mean are you sure of it yeah do you think she's completely deaf or do you think that she hears some things some tones i think she's completely deaf so people say that if you have a completely deaf dog that it turns into behavior problems and they become aggressive. Do you feel that Daisy is aggressive in any way, shape, or form? No. Do you feel like she's the opposite of aggression? That she's a very submissive puppy and that she just looks for, that she's smart and she finds what she needs to know to learn what she needs? She is the most connected to us dog, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. So I've read all the things about um, deaf dogs and how they really need really like a ton of structure and stuff so that they feel connected and so that they don't go off the deep end. But Daisy, in our experience, is the absolute opposite of aggression. She is the most subservient puppy. She is at the bottom of all of our pecking order, even our chihuahuas, and she's the most affectionate, loving connected dog to all of us. Daisy, you guys have seen pictures of her up on Gabby's lap. Daisy doesn't care who you are. She loves you. She loves kids. She loves adults. She loves cats. She loves everybody. And she loves on a whole other level, you guys. Like our other dogs, they love and they want to be with us and they want to spend time with us. But Daisy needs to be with us and have our hands on her and cuddled up as tight as possible. Like Daisy loves on a whole nother level. So even though I think that she's deaf, we're not considering getting rid of her. I mean, what we're doing with her, it works for her. The only thing that we are struggling with, which I think I can fix that, is the recall. Because obviously if she can't hear us, oh, there she is, Daisy. Daisy, 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 come on Daisy, come on Daisy, 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 come on, come on Daisy. Anyway, I don't know, uh, as soon as things cool down here, we're going to take the long this summer, we're going to take the long drive to Guelph, and we're going to get Daisy tested, I'm going to try and reach out to them today and see or this week and see what the protocol is and how we get her tested but if daisy is not daisy's not a hearing dog like you can't convince me do you oh. think she's a hearing dog well she's either too smart and knows that if she doesn't listen she doesn't have to do anything yeah or she doesn't can't hear she just doesn't hear i mean she hears some things okay um, because I Hi, Elizabeth. Gabby, Sophie's on a face call with her beautiful, gorgeous. She just woke up. To friend. Oh my gosh, you look gorgeous. Could you uh, give Sophie some hair brushing tips? Sophie, be being Ruby, herself. She Ruby, does not care about her messy hair. Ruby, get, 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 get. Okay, this is what I like to do. 
That's super fun, yeah, Sophie. Super, super, super fun. This is what Sophie likes to do. Got her pajamas on for Pajama Sunday. <laughs> Let's see you try it, Sam. No. <laughs> Me neither. Anyway, like always, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. I know a lot of you guys have dealt with the deaf dogs before. A lot of you guys know a lot of information about it. We don't. Anyway, we love her and nothing is going to change with her, but I really don't think she can hear us. I don't get it because I didn't teach her any hand signals. But we did teach her. You stomped to her. And she does come if we if she if Sophie stomps. Yeah, but she comes to this too when right. we have her attention. Yes, but you have to have her attention, right? She comes to that, but you have to have her attention. Yeah. Best breakfast of earth. Do you guys know what it is? Can you also bring me a spoon? A spoon. Yeah, I eat you with my hands. My hands are busy. I love it. This is amazing. This is Sophie's favorite breakfast. What is it, Sophie? Um, pomegranate. Pomegranate. It's like the best thing on earth. Sophie and Sam are building Jack's uh, birthday present. I'm excited. Because I wanted to play with it. His birthday is coming up this week, and I'm gonna just be able to drop it off and leave it on his step. And Sophie wanted to play with it, so she's like, "Let's build it." So we're building it. It'll be better built because then he will be able to like play with it as soon as he gets it instead of having to wait for his dad to build it for him. And to be honest, I don't know if his dad is good at building. All right, so this is the kitchen, you guys. This is it. It's got a spatula, some pots up there. It's got a little, two little garden boxes where he can grow his carrots and his beets. It's got a sink. It's got a working, like the sink when you turn it on, it, sa it has a sound, but uh, I have to turn it, I have to, I have to turn it on. I forgot to turn it on. Um, it's got a stove. So he can cook his carrots and his beets. It's got a gorgeous, nice sink. Um, I bought him an extra little thing of dishes here. So after he makes a mess of his dishes, he can wash them. It's got a fridge and you can get ice from it. Isn't that adorable? It also has a big stove where he can cook stuff. It's got some table mats, some place mats, and I don't even know what those things are. It's got a little cupboard at the bottom so you can put baking pans in there. It's got these two drawers here that can hold extra stuff. Also has a blackboard that you can write stuff on, has a knife. Over here it's got a nice little cutting board. He can grab some beets out of his garden and then oops. And then you can easily cut the vegetables with the knife. Carrots are the same. And then he can again grow them in his garden. See the carrots cut as well. Super cute. I love it. Uh, Sophie already played with it. Oh. Sophie already played with it for a long time, so now I can't wait to drop it off. And then he can have it. I'm sure I'll get a video and get to see him play with it. I know he's gonna love it though. the barn but not go close the door please it's cold did you not understand that it's cold oh and turn on the lights please so uh, today we're just gonna do a little bit of work with our ponies some some like finish up with our course just perfect it a bit 
see if we can get our horses to join up with us. I think we will be able to. Hi, pony babies. Hello. But I wanted to tell you guys about something. Do you know about swirlology? No. Do you know about swirl swirlology? Oh, the swirl, the hair swirl? Yeah. So basically, swirlology is like all, all the animals that have swirls on them, like you guys see right here. See her swirl? It's in the middle between her eyes. Don't all horses have swirls, like they all do. Yeah, and lots of animals have swirls too. But there's like all this belief system about how your swirl is created to tell about your personality. What are you so. I'm going to see if she'll join up with me. <laughs> She's I like, heck yes. Swirl. Um, well, yeah, people have them too. To be honest, oh, my yeah. three boys yeah. all have swirls. They all have them right here in the front of their heads. I don't have Man. them Yeah, and so, yeah, yeah, we have them on the top of our head, like on our crown. But anyways, what they say, you have a crown. Let's look at your crown. No, I don't know. You don't have the kind of crown that makes you a princess, but you have a crown. Hair swirl. Here, get down here and let's see it. Yeah, I know. I told you that I don't have How one. If anybody would know, it would be me because it's me. Well, you can't see the top of your head. If any else... If I look else... in a mirror like that or... Like yeah, but, but it, could, it could be someplace else, like underneath your hair. What? A swirl, like your Maybe crown. A swirl. A swirl. Swirlology. A swirl. Okay, so basically what they say is that, like, the same with horses' colors, Bays are the best color. They're like the most rounded, most even keeled horses. Did you know that? No, but that's true. And then grays and chestnuts are the more wild color. So anyways, if you look at where your horse's swirl is, does she have two? She's got two. Let's look at her. Penny saw the halter and was like, I'm out of here. They're going to be doing work. But look, so she's got two. See them both there? In the center of her forehead. And I think that's a good thing though. So basically how a swirl started is that it's one of the very first hairs to grow when a foal is in utero. And it usually is indicative of how their brain development is because they believe it they believe that because hey they believe that because it's on their head. So she's got two in the center. What does she have? None. She has like so there is something about one like that. See, hers starts here, and then it goes up on both sides like devil horns. <laughs> She's a devil. <laughs> I know. I have to read what it what it uh, what it means. Oh, nice girl. So I want to see what Penny's is. So Penny's is in the middle of her head, and she's yep. just got one. You guys see it right in the middle? Actually, hers is kind of high. So this is like the middle. This is low. And above the eyes is high, and that is a sign of like greater intelligence. So I was like, look at this, Laura. He'd be bragging. Oh my goodness. My horse be joining up. Gabby wants to cut Gracie's mane because we always have to brush it and like every week we have to brush it because she gets dirty. What do you guys think? Should we cut Macy's, uh, Gracie's mane? Should we do it? Should we cut it? Yes, we got her when I was up to there. I know and she looked awful. This happened to Oakley before. We're going straight to the tax store. Why? What do you need from the tax store? Um, uh, non-pinchy bit. This one's pinchy so I can't like pull off her or anything. Well, you're not supposed to pull on her anyway. No, because like... She, You're nervous about it because it's pinchy and you don't want her to have a pinchy bit? Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. she doesn't that. need a pinchy bit. She doesn't no. even need a bit. Yeah. I just need one for driving. Okay, so...
A swirl located between the eyes indicates an easygoing, uncomplicated horse. So I'm going to say. Not that she shakes her head. This is not. All of our horses have swirls between their eyes, so it's an uncomplicated, easygoing horse. Cut it. All tangled in there. All right, we'll cut her hair. Who? Cover your eyes. Who? It's going to happen. Who? Owl holler. She says, "Leave your horse's mane alone." I know she's going to say that. I've read it a million times. But look at she gets knots. Uh oh. I think you should cut it like just above those knots. That's what I'm doing. Not, not. Oh God. I don't want to want it. She keeps her head up like this in the cross ties, and then she puts it down. No, I can't do it. I can't do it, you guys. She has gorgeous long hair. I'll brush it. I'll brush it. No, let's not do it. We're not doing it. No. No. I, do you like playing the movie? I can't do it, Gabby. Don't do it. I'll I'll brush her. No, don't do it. Don't do it, Gabby. Don't do it, Gabby. I'm not joking. Don't I do, it. do it. I know, but I honestly. It's just gonna get tangled, and you're gonna have to keep on. I'll keep it. on brushing it. I don't care. I like her hair. No. No. God has plans for this pony. Yeah. I want to take her to a show this mane. year. She can't have long mane in show. She oh yeah. Have that short for shows. True, but no. I okay. No, I like it. Nope. Nope. We're at a standstill. Gabby, don't cut it. I'm being serious. Gabby, I'm being serious. So, long swirls, especially those that extend below the eye, indicate a friendly and agreeable nature. What does she have? Okay, well, Can you move her hair? Hers goes up. Multiple swirls can indicate multiple personalities. Crazy, you got multiple personalities. It's true. She's perfect and then she's crazy. High and tight side-by-side -side swirls can mean a horse that is super focused and talented, but challenging and difficult in the wrong hands. So her swirls are tight together, but not super high. Gabby, I have to use those things. Two swirls on top of each other can mean extreme personality swings. She doesn't have that. Hers are side-by-side. -side. Horses that have multiple swirls that form a Z, the letter Z pattern can signal a horse that is dangerous or violent. So don't ever buy yourself a horse with a Z pattern. The direction of the whirls turn the direction that the whirls turn can tell you if the horse is right or left handed or hoofed. So uh No, I go by their mane. Yeah, we go by their mane. So Gracie would be right handed, right? Right rein. Right rein and this girl would be left uh right rein too. Yeah. Most of her hair is over here. So thick it falls on both sides. Yeah. But and go and Penny off. goes to the right too. So here's a picture of how pennies is high and our other horses, our ponies, are uh, low. Actually, pennies might be ideal and our other horses are low. Gracie is ideal. Do you see that? Look. No, hers are low. Hers is not low. Hers are between her eyes. Just over. So ideal. That's where that line goes from the center. Yeah, yeah, hers is ideal. So Penny's is high then. So I don't know what it means that she's got devil, well, that was crooked. De a devil whirl. Um, but it definitely says that Penny is super intelligent and can be reactive. And then Gracie is probably got dual personalities. So comment below what you guys believe. Do you believe in swirlology? Do you? No. Do you believe in colors? How like different colors affect the horses? What kind of different Like colors? gray horses. They're very reactive horses. Almost no, all. No, they're the... spooky. Yeah, they're very spooky horses. Like every gray horse that we've ever known has been more spooky than average. More like flighty almost. And then every chestnut, well not every. There are always exceptions to the rule. But as a general rule, whenever I see somebody with a gray horse, I, like I always talk to them about it. And they always tell me, yeah, like their horse is a bit spooky. And then chestnuts tend to be more, what's the word? Angry. More angry, are you a chestnut underneath all that brown hair? It's um, actually blonde. Yeah, it is actually kind of dirty blonde. But anyways, I believe in it, I believe in it. And they say that there is some truth to it and there are exceptions to the case, but Penny definitely is kind of a bit reactive and highly intelligent. And Devil, I mean, and Willow is actually kind of a devil. I'm excited to see what our other horses look like. Storm is the most temper, even horse I feel like we have. I'm excited to see what Finny's swirl looks like. I'm gonna brush Gracie's hair and save her from the fate. Save her from the fate of Gabby. Gabby, 
I know. I've let her cut her hair before, you but she said it looks good. I it, got pennies and Stella's. I know, and I. Who ruined Stella's? Yeah, I did you cut. You cut it with the braids in, so it's uneven. Yeah. Okay, but here's the thing. I would agree to a haircut for her if it was. If it was here, Gabby, look. Yeah, no. If it was just, ow. If it was just like the ends right here, just to trim it up like I did with Penny. But no, I love her, her mane. She's got a perfect mane. All right, Hoot. I saved the day. I saved the pony to live another day. Oh, no. That's what happens. See? That's how she gets it all knotted. I think Gabby's right. I think we're going to have to cut it just a little. But imagine you were a little girl and you wanted a pony and you got an amazing pony because she is really good. Like she's a good riding pony. And then she had hair like that. Like wouldn't that just be no, your dream? No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. It just my horse that means we're never gonna be gone. I love a horse with a long, gorgeous mane as long as it's nice, gorgeous hair. Like if it's all ratty, then I don't like it. Let me show you. Gabby's gone to get the the buzzers, and we're gonna try and do their bridal path. Hi, Pin! She's like, oh, She's like, it's not like them to be inside without me. Usually I'm there too. Let me show you Penny's hair. So we trimmed it a bit when we first got her because she has like, oh, and she's got the knots now too. What is happening? That looks like somebody braided it. What the heck? This has never happened to us before. Oh no, Penny, you'll be getting knots. I swear she just stand here the whole, her whole life for me to brush her hair. She loves it so much. But anyway, so we did trim her hair when we first got her. It's pretty much grown back. I don't think she'll ever have like a super full mane like Gracie does, but I think it'll be beautiful long and that's the plan. Grow this girl's hair out so she's stunning. So you're stunning, yes. I have to get those knots out, Pen. Sophie says Willow looks really cute with her main brush too. Or, yeah, with her main brush. No, I just need to chop this We're gonna off. chop that off. Okay, so here's the question. Would you want it to grow longer or leave it like that? Shorter. You want it shorter? Like. In the winter, it kind of keeps them warm. Yes, we know. We know, Gracie. We know. All the... It's a silent one though. Yeah, we got a silent one. That's such smart thinking. The most noise it makes. Okay, we'll try her with the least noise. It might need the power up. It's okay. Oh, such a good girl. Don't worry, Gracie. I'm a pro, she said. Good girl. Yes, what a good pony. Well, I'm trying to do something. So typically we put the bridal path back as far as their ears laid, laid flat. I don't like to though. I leave it a little Yeah, we shorter. leave it a little bit shorter than that because how satisfying is that? She's like, whoa, where's that breeze coming from? Yep. Okay. Got it. I don't know. That kind of looks like you skinned her. <laughs> oh no, that's, she just has she, like. Really yeah, good. and you left it a little bit thick because it's winter, right? Now it's time to see how little Miss Willow does. Give us a little looser. Oh, no. Good girl. You gave her whole body now. I know. Do you kind of wanna? Yeah, I do. People freak out, but um, uh, the where Willow came from are all show ponies, and so if she were gonna go to a show. She would get an all over body clip. Well, we do it in summer so that we don't have to. Work yeah, in summer. But a lot of people don't like it because it's not natural for them and it interferes with their, their, like, show grow. Back animals back. grow hair and lose hair the way that they're meant to for the seasons. Trimming this part up so it doesn't look. Bad. But a shaved pony is a pretty pony, that's for sure. So she's doing so good. Right. She, on the other hand, is not. She's not quiet in she the cross has ties. Cross -tie yeah, she has she cross tie anxiety. I don't know why she's always been like that. But we make her stay. We make her just stand there. And she doesn't do anything crazy. She just dances a little if she doesn't have attention on her the whole entire time. To be honest, I think Penny has the most normal whirl that you can have. I think underneath all the anxiety that she has, 
that she is a really good pony. Oh, she left me. Girl, this this horse will follow anybody. This is our superstar star Finn. Actually, whoa! Talking about colors, Finn and Gracie are our superstar horses. Yeah. Like they're both our most gifted horses. Horse Come on, Grace. Wait. She, does not like <laughs> she prefers me. Gracie, get a move. <laughs> no, get out of my face. Me. Playing with the horses gets super addicting. I never want to leave. But that is it for today's video. I'm going to sweep the barn before I go back up to the house. And don't forget, comment below. Do you believe in the swirls and colors thing? That it's an indication of personality? Or that it can be an indication of personality? And also, comment below, do you think Daisy is deaf? See you guys tomorrow. Wait, before I leave, I forgot to tell you guys the fun thing that Sam and I are going to do is we're going to watch the latest, the last uh, season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. It's our guilty pleasure, you guys. We love Kardashians. And one thing we never do is sit down together and watch TV for hours. It is like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to sit down till about 6 and just watch shows together. It's something super fun for us. So anyway, that's it again. See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way